Hey, church family, we're here for our daily update and devotion. As far as updates, there's just not much else going on right now. Nothing has changed. The, so, the, so far, we are still planning to upload our worship service for Sunday. I encourage you to watch at home with your families. And you can go to our website, winfbc.com, and you can find links to our YouTube channel, and to our Facebook page, and you can follow along there. Uh, there will be some more updates in the day to come. Probably we'll have to readjust our office hours, different things like that, based on what's going on in our community, in our state, and across the nation. But we'll keep you updated on those changes as they come. But today, we want to continue in the book of Proverbs. We're going to into Proverbs chapter 2. So we're going to read Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 5 to get today. We're going to read those together. So Proverbs chapter 2, beginning in verse 1, it says, my son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, listening closely to wisdom and di directing your heart to understanding, furthermore, if you call out to insight and lift your voice to understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it like hidden treasure, then you will understand and fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. So again, we're talking about wisdom, and we're going to ask a couple of questions about those five verses there in chapter 2. So our first question is, how can we how can we understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God? That is found in verse 5 when it says, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. So how is it that we do that? Well, to recap those first four verses, it's saying that you need to accept my words Store up my commands, listen closely to wisdom, direct your heart to understanding, call out to insight, lift your voice to understanding, seek it like silver, and search for it like hidden treasure. When you do those things regarding wisdom, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. So those are some of the things. So if you want to know how do I gain wisdom, how do I get understanding, how do I do those things, Read verses 1 through 4 over and over and over again. And something you'll notice about those, those are all action-oriented descriptions. It's not like you can sit back passively for these things to happen. You have to go after those things. You have to seek after, work after, strive after wisdom. Then our next question I want us to ask and think about is, how important is the wisdom of the Lord to you? Now, that's more of an interpersonal type of question you need to ask yourself, is how important is the wisdom of the Lord to you? And if you want to know how important something is to you, take a moment, step back, and see how much time you spend on it. See how much time you spend thinking about it. See how if you spend your money on it. You can do those things and kind of evaluate how important something is to you. Look at how much time you're spending with your family, how much time you spend on social media, how much time you spend watching TV, how much time you spend maybe in a hobby or a sport. Those things you can do to get a basic understanding of what and how you value something. So how do you value the wisdom of the Lord? But I want us to think about that question just a little bit on a different plane or a little bit deeper of a thought. See, like we mentioned yesterday, our wisdom now is provided to us in Christ. Christ is our wisdom. He's the fulfillment of the Old Testament. So the better question that we're going to ask ourselves, instead of how important is the wisdom of the Lord to you, to take that just a step further and deeper into our walk, we're going to ask how important is Christ to you? How important is Jesus to you today? How much time do you spend loving him, serving him, worshiping him? How important is Jesus to you? So... To find out and to see how we can love Christ, just like we hear, we see this list in verses 1 through 4 of how we gain wisdom, how we get the fear of the Lord, and discover the knowledge of God as we do these certain things in verses 1 through 4. So we're going to take those verses 1 through 4 and we're going to apply it as if it's speaking to of Christ, which our wisdom is Christ. So this is before Christ when Solomon's writing this, but he doesn't realize that he's actually speaking of Christ. So let's look at that. So if we make that about Christ, we see here, are you accepting Christ? Storing up the words of Christ. Are you listening closely to Christ? 
Are you directing your heart to Christ? Are you calling out to Christ? Are you lifting your voice to worship Christ? Are you seeking Christ more than riches? And are you searching for Christ more than the material things of this world? Well, are you? Are you seeking Christ? How important is Christ to you? See, we should be seeking Christ with our whole being because we need Christ to lead our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. Our need for Christ overshadows all other needs. Brothers and sisters, we need to redeem the time. We need to be living for Christ. We need to be seeking Christ. We need to be loving Christ. So search him out. Go after him to know him, to worship him, and to live for him. Again, these things just don't happen by accident. These are action type verbs verbiage and all those type things. You can't just passively set aside and wait for a movement of God to happen in your life. Jesus said, come after me. So will you go after Jesus today? Will you seek him with all your heart, soul, and strength? Will you love him? Will you give your life to him? How important is Jesus to you? Have a great evening, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.